hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to the new viewers i am kiko Wheels and i do speed build videos on my channel in the sims 4 and for today's speed build we are back in hanford on bagley that is the latest world that came with cottage living and we are building a huge farmhouse a huge farm on a 64 by 64 lot yes that's very unusual for me to build on such a huge lot but i needed all the space to be able to place everything every outdoor outdoors activities and outdoors farming activities that came with this um farming pack yes <laughs> so here we are building a family a family farm a generations farm this is a farmhouse that i've built for a family of six multiple generations family um we have living here six sims as i was saying and we have the grandparents the parents and two kids a little girl and also a toddler boy um yeah so we have the structure of this house is two buildings separate kind of separate buildings they are linked in the middle uh with this uh small mm, room uh that you will see in a minute it's gonna be a sunroom with glass roof um a sunroom and also an activity room um and the building on the left hand side is the smaller house um, it's only one story high and it's uh, the grandparents house it's very cozy inside very cute um, and the building on the right hand side is the parents I mean the main house the main building it's the parents house with the parents and their two kids we will also have here a a room for a guest so if you have more than six sims living there they can uh, eventually they can um fit in there i won't go into details um about the interior because in this video right here you will not see me furnish and decorate the interior of this house it's going to be for next video <laughs> so yeah i will be posting the two videos at the same time but yeah it, if i had shown you the interior decoration and furnishing um, in this video it would have been too long for my liking so I decided to split it into two and uh, you will be able to see it if you stick until the end you will have the direct link to the video of me furnishing and decorating this inside it's worth your while it's very pretty inside um, you can also if you want to watch it right now you can also click on the link that appears on the screen right now also and come back to this video right here afterwards <laughs> whatever you prefer I've also created the family that lives here um, as I usually do I created the household and they will be available for download on um, on the gallery under my ID Kikwa underscore bills along with this also with this lot um, they are called the farmers and yeah they were a family of six and they have a dog as well living with them so in the video right here you will only see me do the exterior decorations of the house as you can see here I'm placing all the wall decorations the wonderful and gorgeous wisterias that we got with this pack um, the wall plants uh, the hanging plants uh, the decoration and also the building of the interior of the, the house you will see also all the landscaping and decoration of the outside and the placing of all the farming activities that will go on in the slot i also placed this huge pond uh, on the slot it's more like a small lake kind of uh with this in the shape of a river <laughs> but i really do love the to the pond tool the pond tool that came actually it came uh also as an update with the base game um and i really do love it i love the different uh type of waters that come also that you can place in this pond but what I love above all is uh, the ecosystem there's uh, actually a whole ecosystem that comes with this pond so you can place all the decorations like the logs and on those logs and also the water plants uh, water flowers you can have turtles um, that can climb on those logs that can be floating on the water uh, and you can place um, 
you can place swans, you can place ducks, uh, you can place um, even alligators and <laughs> uh, dragonflies and mosquitoes and whatnot, uh, other insects as well. I didn't place, um, I placed almost everything in, in this uh, pond here, but I didn't place any alligators and I don't know if sims can actually interact with the alligators, that should be interesting. If you have tested it yet, just let me know down below, I haven't. Uh, I know the sims cannot uh, interact with um, the swans and the ducks. that's a shame, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I also placed on this pond this... Um, stone bridge here that you can see I really do love it I used it in my previous build that I built um, uh, with cottage living I really do love it it looks so realistic and, and adds this um, countryside and uh, vibe to the to a build so yeah I really do love the pontoon there's quite a lot to do on this farm. Let me tell you, I playtested this build. Um, I played on the slot and uh, oh my gosh, let me tell you that the Sims had so much to do from morning to dawn. All they had, all they, they could do, I mean, they had a lot to do. They, they had to take care of the, to tend to the animals, to the kitchen, uh, the ki chickens. I don't know why I always say kitchen, <laughs> sorry. English is not my first language um, yeah and uh, they also had to tend to the garden as well because I placed a huge gardening patch I placed four animal sheds and this is a lot of work um, if you have only one or two sims living there um, they it won't be any it won't be enough sims uh, to take care of the whole lot because um, the animals all alone the animals alone um, require so much care like you have to clean them you have to um, entertain them because they have to 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 keep uh, to be kept happy you have to clean the sheds, the sheds uh, refill the sheds um, yeah so that's a lot of work and I think they, I, I found actually that they get dirty quite quite a lot quite quickly that's what's uh, yeah <laughs> I don't know if that's normal maybe because I had four animals so I think actually when you download a lot and you uh, you will have you download if you download this lot you will have the animals coming with this lot so um, I think so if I'm not mistaken so what we have here we have two llamas and two cows and also we have three chicken coops and in the chicken coops we have two chickens inside each coop so we have six chickens um, as a whole in this farm um, that's a lot of work as I was saying we had the grandparents um, the parents and also the little girl to tend to the animals and also to tend to the garden because we have a huge gardening patch as I was saying and now with now um, kids can also help with the gardening and I was so so happy with that because every when I play I always play I always end up having a um, gardening patch and I always end up having my sims making a lot of money with gardening and I was always I, I was always wishing that kids could help out with the gardening and they can water the plants they can talk to the plants as well I don't I don't think they can do anything else I don't know if they can weed maybe if they get some more skills um, yeah it's not a gardening skill i think it's the mental skill or something logic skill or mental skill for the kids um yeah for to be able to tend to the garden and and uh, i had so much fun playing on this lot and play testing it uh with the family i had also a um another like a family friend living on the lot as well with them uh in the uh, in the guest room because that's the guest room as well in this house and uh, she was helping out with all the uh, all the all the chores around the farm and it, it wasn't uh, it was something that was very needed <laughs> let me tell you I also placed this um, this greenhouse here on this uh, on this slot because um, yeah when I play I and I usually a lot of the time a lot of times I have my sims living from um, get some money a lot of money from gardening and in the winter they cannot 
grow much so it's a good thing to always have a greenhouse where they can have plants growing in growing indoors and they can still get some income from their gardening skills uh, during the winter mind you i don't know if the giant crops can still grow in winter because i think i've seen a picture floating around somewhere on twitter with the giant crops in the snow so i don't know if it can actually grow in winter let me know down below if you have tried this um already i have no no idea so yeah i placed this giant uh gardening patch here uh for you seems to be able to make quite a lot of money with this um with this gardening patch here um when i was testing i would play place testing and i was playing around on the slot i was able to make quite a lot of money from the giant crops that were growing in this uh, on these patches um this slot will also come with all the crops that are already uh, planted in uh, all the giant crops that are already planted we have aubergines we have pumpkins um watermelons lettuce and mushrooms if i'm not forgetting any and yeah once you once you harvest all of this it's quite a lot of money i was so happy with that i love gardening in my game and yeah you can make a lot of money with um with this gardening patch so yeah that's all the activities that i place um i mean the farming activities that i placed in this uh, on this lot no that's not all we also have some bee boxes so they can also make some honey but i didn't have i didn't have the time from morning to dawn all the sims were doing was tending to the garden and the animals and then they had to find some time to eat and they didn't have uh, enough time also they had to take care of the dog because yeah you have to take care of the dog otherwise he would want to rain and the dog actually ran away while i was playing this <laughs> this farm but yeah uh, i didn't have enough time in the day to take care of the bees and thanks god uh, the bees don't um they don't really mind really I, uh, yeah i can say they, they get a little angry and just attack some people when they pass when they pass near the bee boxes but yeah so i placed the big bee boxes you will see them in a minute uh in the middle here where i placed the huge tree that came with the um that was the bonus content that came with this pack there's a huge tree where there's a little door at the foot of the tree and i think we are supposed to see bunnies coming out of this but i'm not sure i don't know we cannot interact with this tree uh either there it is on the screen um so yeah so i don't know but i know i have bunnies i had bunnies running around on the slot so you will have bunnies as well but yeah <laughs> and uh, the last thing that i added to the slot to the landscaping was a little mm, relaxing and leisure area around the pond the pond side um here where we can have lawn chairs they can spend a nice afternoon i also placed the sign for fishing so your sims can also fish in this pond and a little bonfire where they can sit and tell story and enjoy a nice summer evening and yeah so i think that's all i had to say about this build i hope you enjoyed this bit build don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel if you like my content and you can watch the next video which will be the furnishing and the interior of this house so hope to see you uh for my next video guys and in the meantime take care bye